they are not available anywhere in the world. No church like Redeem. No church like Winners. No church like Mountain of Fire. No church like uh, Chosen. No church like uh, Christ Embassy. No church like Deeper Life in the world. Redeem alone has over 40,000 parishes. Winner alone has 30,000. There are only 10,000 wards in Nigeria where decisions of those who rule these countries are made. So it's not just deliver Nigeria, deliver Nigeria. It should be God. Wake up your church. Talk to your general overseers. The church community is an imprisoned community. Our general overseers have imprisoned us. They must release us, mobilize us, encourage us to go to the grassroots. Politics is grassroots. You know I have done politics before. I have campaigned. I have been voted for. I was a deputy speaker of a state. I know how it works. It's not just prayer, prayer. We have prayed. And God has answered the prayers. The answer is that he has given us people. Next to God's power is political power. And I want what I am saying to be carried life. Next to God's power is political power. And political power is people giving. And God has given us people. What else do you want him to do for us? You want God to come from heaven and be casting vote? You want God to go to the world and become world chairman? No, the seven ESCO in each world, they are the one that determine who is the president. We can't change Nigeria except we change the National Assembly. This evil law called constitution. This is jihadist constitution. This is oligarchy constitution. This is a constitution that put the whole of the country under one tribe. This constitution cannot allow to go. And it cannot change until you change the men at the National Assembly. The, national, the men at the National Assembly will not change until you select new people that will replace them. So the church must wake up. And not only church, patriotic Nigerians must wake up in the name of Jesus. And you don't win on social media. You don't win on Facebook. You go to the grassroots. Me and you must be attending world meeting. And we will put our good people there. It is the people at the world that are called delegates. It is delegates that select who will be the president, who will be the governor, who will be the senator. If you are not there, you are at the back of the fence. If you pray from now till next year, and you are not there, you say prayer in vain. Church must wake up. And that's what I'm telling the whole church. And I'm telling you now. I don't know why God sent me to politics when I went. But you see, God has to send Joseph to Pharaoh's house. Joseph has to be raised in the palace to understand the palace culture. And then God returned him to defeat the, uh, Egypt. By the grace of God, we will take Nigeria back. This country must be restructured. We must go back to true federalism. Nigeria was a negotiated country. Nigeria is not one country. Nigeria is a country of many nations. How can one ethnic group dominate everybody? It will not happen. It will not happen again. This year, this year, God will deliver this country. Nigeria is a fraud. Our constitution is a fraud. Very unfair. Very unkind. No equity. The whole of us will be under one. Day. And if it is an ethnic tribe that wants progress, it will be a different thing. Repressing us. Now, that evil called Nigeria system will change. Amen. Amen. They want to go and carry me. Come, let them come and carry me. Even there, I will be saying it. Amen. And please, change your prayer mode. Lord, save Nigeria. Lord, save Nigeria. God has already saved Nigeria. It should be God. Wake up Christians. Talk to our leaders. Let them allow us. Are you hearing me? There are only 10,000 words. And I just mentioned some churches now that have thousands of parishes. Parishes that are docile. That are asleep. You are in the majority, but you are asleep. Minority dominating over you. Changing the law. Terrible law. Those laws must be changed. Change your prayer mode. If you are in our church, we don't pray God save Nigeria. We just pray one country. Nigeria is not one nation. That's the first law we told ourselves. One nation. This country is not one nation. 
This country is many nations tied together by force. We must, not, we must agree how to be one. We are not saying we are going to divide. But let everyone rule itself at his own pace and let's meet at the center. Let's be like the United States of America. New York and New Jersey, New Jersey, they are side by side. They have different law, different policemen, different constitution. That's what it should be. Not somebody with detention in Abuja, and that is all of us must do. Slow down our education, slow down our economy, slow down our military, make Nigeria unsafe. This evil system, die today! Amen. I don't know why God took me to politics in 1991. You know, what I saw in politics, I can't see it from the pulpit. That's why sometimes I don't blame our daddies. They can't see it. Let's pray, oh, let's pray, oh. You pray until they cut your neck. You pray until they abduct all your children. No, we have prayed enough. We will still be praying. Time for action. Time for action. Time for action. I am going to tell you more about it later. I have written a book that is circulating all over the country now. And I have been around here for 49 years with you. And some of you are blaming me when I went into politics. God made my eyes to open. Nigeria will not be free until we send away these evil politicians. They must be replaced. And our constant must be rewritten in the name of Jesus. Do you still like me? All right.